What's up, boys? We are back it's with some more bullet war. hell weapon specialist gunner. I am looking to get some weapons that fire an absolute ton of projectiles and then try and find something cool with the weapon vax artifact adding a fifth weapon and grabbing the other artifacts that scale with that. Mainly getting reload speed based on either the number of overclocks you have or the number of weapon tags you have. It's one of my new favorite combos and it's pretty nice on the weapon specialist where you're trying to fire as many projectiles as possible. I don't love the lead storm, but I will want some overclocks on it just in case we do get the proper artifacts. Stubby's not bad. We can work with that, I think. Don't think so. Red Sugar's not bad, but if we could get some... Well, ammo is one of the best artifacts here, so I guess I will take that. Status probably going to be pretty bad here. I'm going to try and push the damage on this guy early on. I've lost a ton of runs recently due to not having enough damage to kill the shellbacks, even though I'm focusing them for literally the entire stage, so... Getting pretty annoyed with them recently. I just don't understand why they're so tanky. Fire rates... damage like when they nerfed the shellbacks a while ago they reduced their damage stats but that doesn't even matter on them they're just completely unkillable we'll take a decent level on that it is a pretty good elite killer early on Although I think it doesn't scale that well, it's felt like on the couple of times I've tried to really build around it. Try and pull some detonators right on top of them. Fire rates. He has the same HP as the elite that I'm literally not even hitting. Stubby. Ooh, gun platform. That could actually be very cool here. The level 18 overclock for that, you can actually shoot your own constructs with if you want. We'll take some 
reload speed for that. Let's go with the fire rates. Gun platform piercing. I'll take an overclock here. Um, I don't want to reduce the fire rate, I think. So I guess we'll just go fire there, even though it doesn't do a whole lot. Gun platform. We'll take a bit of XP, some crit damage, or some fire rates. I think I'll take that and try to get the level 18. That causes it to shoot your own construct so I can do a kind of engineer gunner. Since I got those two weapons specifically early on, could be interesting. Luck. Fire rates, reload, some nice gun platform stuff, we'll definitely take that. Do I want to lock anything here? Probably not. Might need some gold stuff though. Bit of damage and some more damage. Fire rate gets me an overclock, and it does work with the other stuff I'm planning for that. Even more fire rates. Um, I don't think any of these are great. Probably something with a lasting tag would be good for the gun platform. So this kind of works even though it doesn't really do anything for the gunner passive. But we're changing the build up a little bit just because of the weapons we got, I think. Multi-tool, that's one of the things that goes nicely with the weapon box, so I think I will grab that. So we're at 39, up to 81. Pretty nice boost there. It'll be fantastic for the turrets. Uh, let's go proj damage. Kind of wish I got some scanners and I'm super slow, but they are very high damage artifacts and they pair well together as well. Fire rates. Right on top of me. Bit of armor. Let's go fire rate for that. Let's take some gun platform levels since we really need those. Pick up radius.
The repulsor is actually locking the elites over there already. With just the reload speed from the multi tool. Big reload, I think I will take that even though it doesn't really work on my passive. But that's a lot of crowd control. Bit of armor. Big paint shop. I could have that breeze enemies as well. That would actually be kind of nice. Wow, it really wants the seismic repulsor levels, and there we go. Huge crowd control on them already. I'll take some levels for that. It's already a higher level than my main weapon here. Big movement, that's very helpful. How slow I am right now. Blessed, blessed turret levels, we can get the mining nearby walls going. I'll take some cheap reload for that. Take some big damage since I'm out of nitro now. Don't want to reroll too much, and there's nothing I really want here. I'm already set up for some crazy mining with the turrets and these two. I just need some scanners to go with it now. and grab all the nitro so I can re-roll here. XP scanner, it's not very good, but I guess we'll take it. take the level on that, I guess, just to eventually have the overclocks ready for it. Yes.
more turret levels, need that desperately. I need to push up a bit more damage on the Praetor and he's still very healthy. Fire rate for everything. Do one levels on that, and fire rate is one of the main stats I want for it. platform finally. Try and lock them in place with the seismic and get some good focus damage here. Probably go for some fire rate on that. It is actually helping quite a bit against the elites right now. Seismic repulsors are honestly kind of doing work right now. Gun platform, some movement. I think I am going to take a paint job on that just because it's taking a very long time to get some levels for it. We'll go reload speed. Inside the pod. We did good work, Miner. Fire rate, lifetime, paint job. Go ahead and grab the sidearm since that's a full support weapon. Gun platform. Luck. Bit of mining. Let me try again. Fire rate. Smart pick. Little bit of fire rate over there. I guess? I was skeptical of the seismic repulsors at first, but they kind of carried that last level to be honest. Reload speed.
I don't think I can go directly back there. Or fire radius. So many rollies. Let's turn numbers off so I can see how close they are to me. Uh, can I finish that and come back for it later, hopefully? Oh, they're dead. I guess I don't have a ton of time left then. I don't think I can go over there. There's so many Praetorians blocking that side. Ah, uh, it's right there, thankfully. I'll grab a little bit more reload for that. Weapon box? I do want that. We got the boomstick. Bit of projectile damage. Can I... Get on there, Jesus. That was rough, my god. What did I get here? Electrical. That's kind of bad because that will unlock upgrades with the stubby, and I couldn't get the conversion for the gun platform. Take that for the massive fire rates, paint job, bit of HP. Paint job. Don't want to lower the fire rate, so I'll take clip size so it can stay firing longer. Bit of damage. And a bit more. Man, that last level was freaking rough. I wonder if it might have been smarter to just ignore the artifact and go for the dropship. Because I played that pretty well, and I was so close to dying there. Reload. Try and get some of my turrets set up here so that they can break through for me. These are decent, but I do have a lot of rerolls and there's some really nice stuff. I'd really like to get some good scanners sometime. Nope. Another XP scanner. Rip.
either a gold or nitro scanner or the turbo encabulator for damage and reload speed based on the number of overclocks that I have are the main things I'm looking for. But I guess we're just shredding the level for a little bit of extra XP. Turret should freeze him pretty quickly once he gets on top of them. How fast they reload. Some decent armor. I think it's pretty risky for me to go for any more of the rocks since I'm still kind of close to my base movement speed. I only got a couple upgrades for that after the ammo rig. You'd think a giant bug like that would give a bit more XP when it died. The guy's still crawling o over there. I saw him towards the start of the level and he's still there. Fire rate for that. XP to go with our scanners. Bit of crits. Next time we'll be Paint job Looks for that. Like me. Uh, don't think so. Hmm, what else? Fire rate for the gun platform is pretty nice. We'll save that. Get to work. Fire rates. Nah. 
Another XP scanner? I guess I have to. Hey, he's back. That would get me an overclock and it's reload speed. Uh, let's go for the improved reload speed, I think. I think that probably is one of the better turrets to have following you around since they have such a short range. That can make them a bit better at peeling bugs off of you. But we're not going to do it this time. Big pickup. Actually, playing so many hit graphics on the bugs, it's still hard to see when there's a bunch of them right in front of the turrets there. I guess it's the seismic repulsors since they have very low base damage. They're at 62 even with a few upgrades on them. Reload speed. If I can grab some of the XP from those elites, hopefully. I can't really see the escape pod, so I'm not gonna stay down here too long. Sometimes it spawns very far away. Platform, some movements. Let's shake it up. Paint job. That's level 16, so it's kind of wasted. Gun platform. I could really use some nitro scanners. Luck. Oh yeah, now we're talking. Yeah, I guess. Man, a single Nitro Scanner would have been so good on this run. Hey, he's back again. 
fire eats. Actually, I do have four more artifacts to go, I think. I could have taken the shield belt to get that out of the pool. And that would have made it easier to hit the turbo and cabulator, which I still really want for the build. Pretty solid. I guess we'll take that. Hold on to the rerolls for a bit in case we get any completely useless choices. I'll take a level for that with a bit of reload speed. It seems like when there's a bunch of seismic repulsors down hitting the same enemy really quickly, it still plays quite a bit of a hit graphic on them sometimes. Job, some fire rates, fire rates. Fire rate to finish that one off. Does this even have the overclock where you shoot your own constructs anymore, or was that removed? I guess we'll take the massive fire rate for it. Some reload, bit of crit. I guess some armor. And save the gun platform. Actually, it would have been pretty cool with the double high reload speed turrets here. And a lot of projectile fire rate.
bit of reload speed. That would give me level 18, which isn't very useful there. I can either favorite it and absolutely destroy my other weapons or reduce the fire rate and the reload speed on it in return for damage. Neither of which I really like for weapon specialists anyways. So many enemies I could barely move, my god. That would get an overclock. We can see what's over there. I guess go for the clip size to go with all the projectile fire rate I have. about 160 HP. It's not bad. I could probably use some damage to be honest since there's so many enemies built up right now. Jesus, I need a nitro scanner so bad. I'll just take whatever decent gold upgrades there are since I can't really get any nitro stuff anyways. Your way, load up. 
That is a very long nitro vein. Try and push a few more overclocks in case we do get the encabulator dream. Do have two artifact rerolls left, I think. We can try to fish a bit now. Nope. There we go, finally. Love that combo with the weapon box. You add a fifth weapon, and then you get a ton of reload from that, and a ton of reload and damage from that. So we're up to 207% global reload speed. Mining speed is very slow, but the turret should be able to handle most with all that reload speed. And our damage should be through the roof now. an overclock over here and I have to go lead wrapped but that will at least give some reload and damage to my other weapons I think the flyer is getting constantly pushed back by the seismics no there's a chill back still there I guess he was just rolling off on his own. Those are both done. It's a decent amount of armor, I guess. Oh, there was a magnet up there. Rip. I do have some big pickup radius. I don't think I can grab that though and make it back. If I had a little bit more pickup radius, I could have grabbed it. Gun platform. Can't even get a second upgrade. Man. Where is the nitro scanner? This is going to help me be a perfect dwarf. Wow, he broke out of the egg instantly and trapped me in there. The bugs are learning and adapting now. Man, there's no way the seismic is going up to level 18, and it's pretty unlikely to, for the boomstick as well, so not going to be able to max out the overclocks here with the limited nitro. Could have taken less upgrades on the gun platform, but that's just not as fun. It's also giving me a decent amount of XP generation since there's three XP scanners. Just a constant stream of lights flying out of the rocks.
That boss is probably about to come out with the projectiles hitting him off screen. We'll take that for a bit more reload. So I guess I'll just stay here and yeah, he is out, so I'll have my turret set up for him. Uh We'll find a gun platform or some decent crit damage. This was almost a godly run if we just had some decent scanners instead of the triple XP. We got the ammo rig, which is amazing on weapon specialists. We got the weapon box plus the multi-tool and cabulator combo, which is amazing on almost anyone, but doubly so with a ton of extra fire rates. We've got a bit of extra reload and some damage stats there and some decent damage there. Pretty good. Pull into the gun platform. Got the mining nearby walls with a little bit of extra reload speed. And the seismic repulsors were honestly surprisingly helpful early on. When I didn't really have much AoE damage, they were keeping stuff off of me with the slow and the early legendary reload. Actually pretty helpful. Oh yeah. We had 355,000 projectiles fired. The stubby actually did almost half of its damage as the status effect. With basically no investment into that, I think maybe a little bit of potency. But we had zero status damage. Sidearm would shift that over a little bit, but that was mainly to buff our other weapons anyways. Oh wait, no. Boomstick was electric. I sometimes forget about the first overclock because of the weapon box giving that. So there's actually almost no status damage at all. My bad. But that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.